you know I'm a big fan of your style mate you remind me of like a Jake LaMotta or a, the way you're fighting inside you're like a James Tony. unbelievable stuff mate but do you feel that the style you had Cash was tailor made for the pro game? I would say so yeah then you just need to pick up you just need to pick up these small things experience like holding on doing small professional tricks you know what I mean obviously the, Craig was always telling me at the beginning my trainer at the moment Craig Rickson he was telling mm-hmm. me at the beginning when I was trying to always like, you need you need to go through a profession. You can't just do things as amateur. And he, he developed it. You know what I mean? But you go through in a fight. You experience it through sparring and that. So you pick up through experience. So mm. I've just, through experience, I've picked up all these things. Obviously, your trainer shows you. But it's through experience. You go into fights and you pick them up. You just touched on Craig Dixon there. He's been guiding you through your whole yeah. career mostly. What have you learned for Craig? A lot. You know, as uh, you see, he was an ex-professional himself. And uh, I think he, he retired a good few years well before me. I started and... Uh, you know, it's me and him work together. It's a good team. We've got me and him and uh, it's a good bond, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I listen to him and uh, he works perfectly with me. His style's tail made to mine. So that's yeah. what that's what we've, we've achieved. Both of us have achieved a lot, you know, so. Would it be fair to say that Craig goes above and beyond for you, mate? He does, you know what I mean? And uh, I've been, I was probably, I wouldn't say his first fight. He had a fire before me. But I was probably six, a second fire. I came to him and, uh, and yeah, he does things, you know what I mean? Uh, obviously, he does, with a stranger, Matt, he does go beyond, you know what I mean? And, uh, wow. you know, this is the reason I'm here. Obviously, he's put the time and effort in the last six years I've been with him. Yep. And, uh, yeah, I've been, I came to a major 19. I've been, with, I'm 25 now, so I've been here for the last six years. So it's mm-hmm. a long, long time, you know, and I would probably think I'll probably retire with him, you know. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather always lives by the persona, mate. Hard work, dedication, prayers and belief in a good team. But people always forget the last bit of the Mayweather persona, Players and belief in a good team. How vital and crucial is it, Cash, to have a good team around about you in boxing? Hundred percent. You know, and uh, you need a good trainer and a good manager. These are two things. And see if you've got that, you can you can go anywhere. You know, I mean, you can go achieve. Obviously, your ability. You need your ability to sort to take to the next level as well. But mm-hmm. if you've got the right manager and right trainer, and the manager matches the right fights, mm-hmm. and obviously your trainer uh, who knows this thing. You know, I mean, tells you the right things. You know, I mean, to your own style or whatever. Mm-hmm. You can you can near enough do things when you, you mm-hmm. want to do in this game. I know you're a fighter, Cash. You love your sparring. You're always up and down the country, Manchester, Aberdeen. Yeah. Do you believe a lot of sparring is a great education for a fighter, especially in this day and age? It is. You know, it's the closest thing to a fight. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's not a fight, but it's the closest thing to it. You need to go out and get sparring sound and go out your comfort zone and spar boys that. You know, I mean, probably better than you. You know, pick experience up. And you might learn a few things from sparring. And, uh, that's uh, I like I like going to other gyms and sparring. Mm-hmm. You know, because you're out, you're going to their back, not backyard, but you're going to their things and picking things up. And uh, yeah, I would say sparring is probably the coolest thing. But obviously, you practice these things with your training on the pads, bag work, and that. You practice it, shadow boxing. Mm-hmm. Then you doing sparring. Then you mm-hmm. take that into fighting. So yeah. it's small steps at a time. Mm-hmm.